Good morning, Niskuna High School, live from our TV studio. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Attention all softball players. Open gym will be from 7.30 to 9 o'clock tonight in Blatnick Gym. We have a message here regarding AFS. A representative from AFS will be outside the old cafeteria today during lunch mods for students interested in learning about studying abroad or hosting an exchange student. AFS has year-long, semester, summer, and two-week-long programs. Java Jive. It's that time of year again. If you're interested in performing at Java Jive this year, you need to get a form from the English Resource Center. Java Jive is Friday, April 22nd this year. Forms are due back to Mrs. White by March 10th. Shakespeare recitation was held yesterday in the Little Theater. 13 students performed monologues. Isabel McDonald won first place. Congratulations, Isabel. Nikos Asmakopoulos was the runner-up. Congratulations, Nikos. Isabel will go on to represent Niskuna at regionals in March. And congratulations to all who participated. Sports physicals for the spring will be offered in the nurse's office Tuesday, February 9th during homeroom. And Christopher Yang, you have a message in the attendance office. And now let's turn it over to our student anchors. Thanks, Principal Rickert. Good morning, Niskuna. Today is Friday the 5th. I'm Allie. And I'm Melissa. Here's what's making news. As a part of our science department's continuing lecture series, a scientist is coming to talk here at Niskuna High School. And not just any scientist, he works at NASA in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and he's worked on the Mars rover. Mr. Kevin Burke will be here during the last week in February to talk about all things Martian. And to pique your interest in hearing this NASA scientist speak, Film Club will be screening the movie The Martian next Friday. The Martian stars Matt Damon has won two Golden Globes and is up for six Academy Awards. Film Club will be in the Little Theater next Friday the 12th at 6.30 to show The Martian. Admission is free. So if you want to learn more about the Mars rover, traveling to Mars, robotics, space, or NASA, come see The Martian next Friday. Then come see scientist Kevin Burke after winter break. It'll surely be a fantastic talk. In other news, today during lunch mods at the Old Cap, there will be a representative from AFS to talk to anyone interested in studying abroad. So if you have questions or you think you might be interested in studying overseas, go to the Old Cap today during lunch and talk with AFS. And now a quick commercial message. School store. School store. School store. School store. School store. School store. Hi guys. These are what you can get at the school store. We have folders, binders, hand sanitizer, Oh, we also have new sports t-shirts for uh, people who sweat a lot. We have headbands, as Mr. Paul will show you. Next up is a video from the high school's Intro to Chinese class. The students have a message about Chinese New Year, which is this Monday the 8th. Let's take a look. We wish you good luck, good fortune, and a happy year of the monkey. Jake, why is it the year of the monkey? because each of the 12 years of the Chinese zodiac calendar are represented by an animal. This is the ninth year in the cycle, which is represented by a monkey. If you were born in 1968, <coughs> 1980, 1992, or 2004, you are a hozi, or monkey. That was very nice, and Happy New Year. In other news, we wish to congratulate four of our track stars, Erica Wasserbach, Marissa DiVietro, Lexi Sorrentino, and Emily Co Amelia Kokonak on their fantastic 4x800 win on Sunday. Good luck running in New York City tomorrow. Also deserving of some congrats are two seniors. First, 
Nikos Asimokopoulos for finishing in the top five in the Poetry Out Loud contest in SUNY Oneana. Way to go, Nikos. And also to senior Jack Newton, who set new, six new diving records. Jack's name will go on a permanent banner in the pool area. Congrats, Jack. A reminder, next week we'll be doing a live show every day, Monday through Friday, for Charity Week. <laughs> Everyone in homeroom can make a craft to help some worthy causes. And finally, with the Super Bowl on Sunday, Broadcasting Club took to the halls to ask people who they want to win the big game. It's another Niski Talks. It's amusing, so look for your classmates and teachers. Roll the clip, Dave, and have a great weekend. Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? I'm rooting for the Panthers. I want the Panthers to win. Go Broncos. The Panthers. I would like the Panthers to win because the Broncos are terrible. Super Tazón. <laughs> Super Tazón, yo quiero que gane los Broncos por Eli Man uh, Petty Manning para que se retire ganando, pero va a ganar Carolina. Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? I like to see the Denver Broncos win it. Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Broncos. <laughs> Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? I don't know. I stopped watching after the Seahawks lost. I don't know what the teams are. It's like Yankees and Panthers, right? That's the teams. Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Patriots. So who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Jake Shepard. <laughs> so who do you guys want to win the Super Bowl? Jake Shepard. <laughs> Brock Panthers. Brock the Panthers. What are you talking about? Panthers can't do it.